last thing before we let you go, and, and this is something that, that you've talked about today, and I, I'd love to follow up on it with you. You were a teammate of Tyler Holinsky's in high school. Obviously, you were near and dear to your heart. Uh, one of the guys who's certainly mourning the loss of Tyler Holinsky. Your message to your team after everything that went on, coming through and, and mental health and all the things that, that we try and talk about um, as a society right now, what was your message to your guys? Um, I really wanted to be um, real with my teammates because uh, sometimes you hear a story and it might not relate. It might be somebody out in the country. You don't feel like, oh, that, that couldn't happen to us. It's not one of our guys. Like it wouldn't. So I think me stepping in and talking to the team and telling them like that, that was my boy. And uh, I'll always remember him as the goofy high energy Tyler Holinsky. So that was shocking to me. So what I did is I told the team, hey, like if you're ever going through anything, you always come to me. Um, definitely always you want to communicate with people around you. Be genuine. Ask how people are doing. If you see somebody's um, not themselves, you know, ask them questions. But you want to be real about it. You don't want to be, you know, fake, like trying to find out what's going on. Like I'm not trying to just get in your business. But I really, I genuinely care about my teammates and I want everybody to be good. I don't want something like that to happen again. So this whole mental health thing and we just need to push the envelope of communicating better and um, getting rid of the stigma of your football players. You don't need to show your emotion. You don't have anything going on with you mentally. You're a football player. Like, we need to bring the conversation of um, just being real with each other and just communicating. So, I mean. Could not have said it better than that. And we appreciate your voice and it's important in locker rooms across the country. All right. Josh, Theo, uh, you guys have been awesome. I'll let you go. I know you've got some more questions about Chip Kelly to answer probably, so I'll let you go answer those. But best of luck. We're excited to watch you guys on the field this year. Thank, Thank you. you.